but now you're pulling the guy in and you're looking for that throat. Now something that you're gonna notice is when I choke, I only choke with these two fingers. Tony, come here. So, he's here. If we're doing our little circle. I've gone like this, whoop, and I've got him. Now, what do you feel? Like a hook? Yeah. Okay, he feels this hook. And he hasn't felt the thumb yet because I haven't used it, but that's a twist. So that's how you choke. You squeeze and then you twist <laughs> and see how his body works. <laughs> yeah, I, mine too. <laughs> so when you hit the guy with this hand, it's not that you're trying to push him. It's that you're trying to get your fullest grip. So you just go whoop and then you got him. <laughs> Weirdest shit was Diego Sanchez. Oh, Diego That's, Sanchez in his last fight. I don't know who he trained with. He left Jackson Winkle, Winkle John. I don't know if he had training partners. I don't know what he did. I and feel, he had the one guy in his corner telling him, be like Tyson. Go out in there and be like Tyson. No fucking way did he say that. Was, <laughs> yes, he did. He was giving him weird advice. And, uh, you know, Diego was getting, Michael Chiesa was just flowing on him. Yeah. Just flowing. And every time Diego was able to capitalize on a position, like a, a, a slip up or a window of opportunity to get on top, he just fucked it up. And then yeah. Kiesa just got right back up, created a scramble, and then he was right back in a dominant position once again. I was like, yeah, this is not going to end well. I thought he was going to get the finish, but... Dude, yeah. the way you saw, like, Diego Sanchez manhandle Mickey Gall. Crazy. And then the way you see Michael Kiesa manhandle Diego Sanchez. You level. Oh, this is his this is the <laughs> coach that would be Diego Sanchez's corner. No one else. This dude has no experience as an MMA coach, by the way. So this is the dude that's telling him to be like Tyson. He's so, being like water right now. You see that doing? slip? That oh, slip, bro. Oh. Well, touch butt. Touch butt. <laughs> Diego's such a strange guy, man. He might believe that this dude has mass magic powers. Because he's he was talking about but I think a big part of Diego's <laughs> success is his belief system, right? Dude. Diego just believes things. Dude. But this guy's amazing. Dude. What technique? What? Oh, come on, son. Show me that. Oh, oh. knocking people out. Yeah, Bro. Oh. Bro, so good. Imagine looking at this guy and go, listen, <laughs> fuck Longo and Sarah. <laughs> Trevor, your thought? Had one at the 
Yeah, up kick. No, that's legal. Oh. It's right on that. Diego, now that the experts know so much, Diego, how many fucking rolls do you do every day in training, warm up before ever getting started? One hundred every day. Might be interesting, we're, we're Joe. In the, we're in the thousands. Might now. be interesting, Joe Rogan talking that shit about me saying one hundred, one hundred. Maybe you should ask me what the fuck it means, asshole. Maybe you should actually have a conversation with somebody before you slander them on national television on a fucking broadcast like you know what you're doing. Like that, Diego's done. Yet he's not bleeding. 